BW Bond here, guys. Hey, um, I just wanted to make a quick video about mainly um, two things: um, the Opera web browser. Uh, Opera 10 had, um, just recently came out; it's been released, updated, what have you, whatever. Um, and then I wanted to touch a bit on the upcoming uh, Windows 7 and be um, really critical on one specific point. Um, so let's get to it. First of all, let's talk. We're going to talk about uh, Opera. This browser here is um, super fast. I mean, I notice a difference in speed between um, this browser versus um, Firefox this browser versus um, Internet Explorer 8 um, and I mean this thing is just um, let's go I don't know for you Walmart shoppers out there this thing is just fast I mean for me I can tell the difference between um, this and other browsers like I, like I previously said um, also um, I point out that um, I like this feature up here not in previous versions of uh, Opera the last version they had this um, you know this preview window here that you could go through and see but what I did is um, I looked at this little um, toggle here and I said wow what does this do I moved it down and I noticed that you can get a you know that same a, a different little viewpoint so you can see what you have open um, already without going up here and actually hovering over it um, in this little box here so I mean I, I really like that that feature that they added in, in here um, they also did something down here um, called turbo opera turbo on turbo off um, if you have a slow connection or something like that um, I guess it's probably something to where it's going to cache it or however it's going to speed it up. I haven't really looked into it, but um, those off the bat, I noticed um, those are two things I noticed right off the jump. Um, the other thing is the layout. Um, it kind of looks the same, but it looks like they tweaked the, uh, the, the interface um, just a little bit. The way the tabs look, it looks a lot more cleaner to me, a little bit more uh, professional. Um, so that's pretty much all I had to say as far as on Opera. Um, download it, check it out. Let me know what your thoughts are um, about it. Uh, moving on, Windows 7. Comment I wanted to uh, make about Windows 7. Windows 7. Um, there's there's one um, particular feature that I'm looking for um, out of Windows is, is being a, a user that you know main kind of left um, everyday Windows world um, to uh, you know the Linux the land of Linux put it like that um, when Vista came out Vista made me look for another OS um, and that's when I opened my eyes to uh, Linux but that's for another video um, I noticed that Windows 7 XP Vista and even Windows 7 I'm not seeing the virtual desktops I'm not seeing them um, virtual desktops for those, those those of you that don't know there's a little area down here that you can configure and have separate um, desktops to where um, let's say I had Opera open and I wanted it minimized. I mean, max them maximized um, instead of having you know a kabillion different applications that are um, you know minimized down here in the taskbar. I can have one application um, that's maximized in my screen in each one of those um, virtual desktops. Um, it really helps out a lot when you're. Um, when you're actually doing your work during a day um, whatever kind of work you do general computing I mean um, and also a lot of times people don't want um, people don't want have the money to buy dual monitors um, instead of having a dual monitor set up you can hit you know control you know in the right key or something and have a open desktop that you can use um, for a whole different application Windows has 
not had this you've had to um in, in the past i've had to install third-party apps for this and it, it, it's just crazy they should have this linux has had this for a while um leopard i know has it um OS 10 has had it for a while. I know that the new Snow Leopard has made some improvements to it, and it's time for Windows to get on board. Don't, you know, we shouldn't have to make do these power toys and install this crap. It should already be there. It's 2009. Windows 7 needs to have virtual desktops. Um, that's I'm, I'm gonna keep this video short I'm gonna leave it at that you guys have any comments on virtual desktops or um, the op opera browser um, go ahead and leave your comments subscribe if you want to there'll be other videos uh, that that follows thank you